welcome back to our European summer trip. You join us in Germany as we explore the Black Forest. So in this quaint little German town in the Black Forest, I believe, so we've just parked. And look at this fountain. And this is the church. We've just parked near the church. So it's Stra... I can't even say that. But this is the church of the town that we're in. And we're going to go for a wee walk. So let's walk into town. Iron bridge down there. Honesty book. As long as you stop. Nestled in the forest. son missed this, the one that's doing the interrail, he would have liked this. of camping spots anyway. Oh, there's the train. Church bells going. they have this little bit here there's got the bridge here but they've got this little bit here where you can sit and have a beer overlooking the river we'll carry on a quaint house look at that I think we'll go up this way where the people are I don't think there's anything else up there. Ooh, kebab. I don't know, I might fancy. Or maybe when we uh, get to Berlin. Bravo. Cobbled Yay. Street. 1717 this building. That one. Uh, this one here is leaning forward, 1718, marvellous building, couple of streets, and German flag there. This one's got some artwork, it says 1408, but at the top, this is 1815. Not quite sure. Well, we'll go further into town and see what it has to offer. But I do love these buildings, the style of them. 
is a beautiful building. I think it's a restaurant, 1604, right in the centre of town as you come in. The old town. Some information there. And look at this trough for horses. It's still got water functioning. I think we're in for a treat. Let's walk up. I've just seen this from, oh sorry, from the corner of my eye. I don't know where to look. That is beautiful. That's a cellar. Fifteen ninety three. I think that clock was uh, built. Museum. Well, uh, the church bells are going. This is a museum. That's a museum there opposite. Look, pharmacy. Uh, loving the artwork. Seventeen sixty six this one. Look at that little window, look. Tells you a little bit about the house there. I'll translate that later. Oh, cobbled streets. It's another house. Going down after the viewing platform from above. So quaint. I can just imagine this in the winter when there's snow. <laughs> I will film as much as I can, but I have to focus on my steps. Last thing I want is to go ass over tit. And that's a English expression or Scottish expression, but anyway, that's what we say. Ooh, nearly went, nearly. And that's what we've just come down. A little door. This, this is a completely diff different property in the middle of these two. Wow, not much sunlight there. Ooh. Well, that door's very low, isn't it? Lovely building, but look how low the door is. Steps going down, and here you can see. I suppose this was for drainage on either side, or was it for horse and cart? Cart, I don't know. It's literally just walking in another water fountain. Let's just walk a little bit up, and then we'll, we'll leave and go to our next spot. Something. This 
to 1719 and then 1984 obviously we built, I suppose that's originally when it was there, 1365. Quaint little community. This is the real Germany. Never mind your cities. As beautiful as they may be, this is lovely. We've got trinkets in here. Drinking your beer. Is it closed? Is today's Monday? Is it closed on Monday? I'm not sure. This is an antique shop. Not sure if you can get that with a reflection. There's nothing I can do about that, I'm afraid. We can cut down or we can go, let's just cut down through here. Oh, this might be, no, maybe not. That looks like someone's garden. Oh, that's lovely. A gazebo. Mm. Sit out there having a, a glass of wine. Very nice. Well, that was worth coming down to see. Look at this building. I'm in the middle of the road, so I need to be careful. I think that's a pub or a guest house of some sort. Lovely. The wee road that we've just come down. Let's just head back. There's a petrol station here, but I'm okay for petrol. It'll be all right until we get into the city. But I'll just see. So we'll spend a few days in Germany, in the Black Forest region. And then we'll go into Switzerland. Well, Liechtenstein, then Switzerland. Well, anyway, Switzerland, Liechtenstein. So that's uh, the front of the houses that we've just come down the other street. So we've driven through many villages like this, coming here. Um, but this is a lovely one that we chose to stop at. I can't remember why this was on my bucket list, this place. For some strange reason it was. And I haven't been disappointed. Maybe it was just on my list for being a beautiful place. See that one is 1792, that building there.
again another pub pumping um, station still there That's a little village in 1885. I need to have that translated when I get home. I'm not Google translating now. So these markings document the high water mark um, and when flooding occurred in the area in the year it did. This is the bar that I went to, the gentleman opened up especially so that I could use the facility. So thank you very much. It's been recommended by a local for us to come and visit. So we're going to have a look. This is, um, they gathered all the old buildings, founded 50 years ago as a museum um, to showcase the architecture that would have been around the Black Forest. So this is where we are. Parking, 30 minutes is free, otherwise it's six euros for 24 hours. And we're not staying 24 hours, we're just going to visit the museum. Look at them. There's a bit of artwork as we enter the museum. Of what it was like here so this is the entrance let's pay let's see how much is it to enter 12 euros for adults 650 for children as we walk around they've this is an open museum, so all these buildings have been, they're not recreated, they've been taken down from around the Black Forest and we've got um, a leaflet that we'll share and they've been taken from the original place and put here so that everyone can enjoy and learn about the Black Forest. So this is the first house, 1599. This is the um, information about this house and you can see from the map where its original location was. Um, it was a working farm until 1933 and then they've um, taken it down and brought it here. I wonder if we can go in. Let's have a look inside. see through that window <laughs> That's nice. I think we can go in that's what it's like on the inside anyway this is a little one Oh, this is a storeroom. For food. Hmm. So this is that house. 
go inside. Lots of people around. Ooh. Tells you information about the farm. Very musty smell here. This is just different areas. There's a balcony here, so I think I'll go up. Traditional front room and look at the chimney. We've got the Kaiser Wilhelm. There he is. I'm assuming that's the Queen. Spinning wheel. We'll go upstairs in a minute. All the different rooms. Drying cabinet, fruit there. That's where they make this stuff to make them last the winter. Oops, I've got a duck. And this is where they brew mead. Got all their fruits and their jams and everything that they need very very dark even in summer it's quite cool right let's go upstairs and see what's up here Okay, not sure what that's all about. Certain carvings I found on furniture. Loving the doors. Oh, you're not allowed on the balcony. There's another floor, so it's two floors. Very dark, but this is the bedroom. Try and lighten it up. Hmm. Very spacious bedroom. I wonder what that's all about. And that's that building opposite. Oops. Oops. Oh, Ooh, very spacious attic. Wow, this has got all the um, equipment and vehicles that they use, the tools. is spacious so I see the buggies Boards are creaking. If anyone speaks German, it looks like um, some sort of contraption, maybe pressing the vegetables or 
barley or something anyway it was a farm right so this is the roof area and there's a big door that takes you out here So you can see that it's actually built into the landscape. So all your tools would come in here, away from the house. That's really quite good. I like that. So this is the Farmstead Chapel. Really interesting. And it's beautifully done on the outside. That's the picture that I showed, that's the one that I showed you them inside the other house but look and that's the grain store Cute. <laughs> sunning itself hey go go no these are the names of the goats there's one there. Let's go and have a read. Certainly smells like you're on a farm. Anyway, you're washing out. I think this may be the labourer's cottage. Let's have a look. I was correct this is the labourer's cottage 1819 it was a working farm until 1993 wow the weavers owned the house and in 1981 the two bachelors moved in so that this is the house okay they were weavers and day labourers in the forest and they were subsistence farmers up to 10 people lived in here Let's go and have a look, it looks lovely. Got wood for the winter. Let's go up. Do I have this all to myself? I do. Oh, look. This is lovely, got a chimney again. <laughs> old radio nice and cool again oh that bed is so lumpy wow I think it's everything originals left right Fridge, an arga. That's where you put the coal, and this is the larder. No, it's a cabinet. Okay, I thought it was the larder. Again, it's cooking in there. We've then got taps some water. This is the larder. Oh, something else in here. I'm not quite sure what this is then. Wash room, wash house. Okay. Most important, the alcohol, the bin hall, or beer, or whatever they stored. <laughs> My son's just bumped his head because he's so tall. You've got to be careful with these do with these doors. Duck. That's what I say. Duck. That's uh, the, the cooker cooking. And washing. How to wash your clothes, I suppose. And this must be hazard a guess. Toilet? No, can't be. What's in there? No. Toilet. 
I don't know what that would have been used for, but anyway. And this is obviously to cook something or to get rid of something. I know this, I've seen this before, that's to mince meat. There's this one. Oh my god. The stairs are a bit steep. So from what I can see, every house had a balcony. Which I like very much. And the roof comes down like that, so that keeps it nice and cool. Oh, this shows you when they were moving it piece by piece. And this is the furniture that was there. So they removed it from its old location where it had been first centuries and they brought it here to the museum to preserve it. That's really good. Oh, look at the work that's gone in. Piece by piece. Even down to the wiring, as it had been when the last occupant, occupant sorry, left. Now the bedroom. Oh, it's so hot. I suppose that was a door as well. You could use it. Now it's a very hot day today. The wee door there. Maybe a kids room. I did not feel myself coming up there because honestly, it was quite difficult. That's uh, coming up into the roof. Oh, and again, this is where they would have stored their farming equipment. See, we've got the old wardrobe look painted. And again, big barn doors to, um, to leave. Very interesting how they constructed. So this is to go up and down the way that their buildings were. I don't think we'll do all of the walking museum because it is very, very big. Another farmhouse. We won't go in, it'll be very similar. That's a thatched cottage. That's not made out of wood at the bottom. That's thatched. Hello. No? I think that's mummy. No, yes, mummy and the two calves. Mummy's being protective. Yes, that's okay, girl. That's okay. Oof. Smells like a farm again. Wow. <laughs> Just roaming around as one does. <laughs> didn't see this because we were on the other side when we uh but this is the bakery on this side here so this is the bakery and this is on the opposite building 1725 to 1806 that's on this building it is a lovely place we've just We've come, it's um, half five and it seems shut, <laughs> even the shops, apart from the restaurants and the chemists and places like that. Offenberg University, 1893. Hmm, interesting. So that's it. Offenberg is a, another t 
town I think nearby must be bigger than this they're gonna start playing something we'll see if they've got any souvenirs we're debating do we move on to Freiburg tonight or not postcards not that anyone sends postcards these days Go and film that in a minute. My son's got beady eyes like me. Look, Namaste Bowie. But there's a painting of someone there, as you can see. Right, we're going under. Let me zoom out. We're going under this. You can climb it. It's similar to, oh, where's that place that we went to up north? York. You can climb. You can climb to go up to the top. The only difference is the uh, walls aren't here anymore. It's a similar sort of structure. Structure. Very picturesque, I've got to say. As you just go, keep going round, and that's it. And I think that that will be us. So there it is and we're going in. This is recently built, 1980 this part. But let's go in and see. Oh it's a restaurant. Oh it's nice and cool. Oh it's going into that old bit. It's been restored. Watchtower. I was trying to think of the name. Oh, I see you go in. They're about to play live music, but I don't know if I want to sit and listen to it. with the fountain and I think we drove past but we didn't come down this road because we weren't allowed but this is the other gate and you can hear the vast band behind must be the theatre just going to walk and it's ever so clean. The place is spotless. 
we've seen people coming round collecting the refuge that won't be left on the streets all night and everyone's been so nice I like Germany Das is good there you go my extent of my German my Deutsch I've not done too badly actually Kebab house. My son's saying he's hungry. If that's open, I might get him something from there. That's lovely. An old trough for horses. So we're going to go under the gate, but we'll have to go the other way. Have a look at their menu. We might get something. Let's see. Pizza. Normal one is 7.50, margarita nine, that's with real tomatoes. Um, prices aren't too bad. I think they're really reasonable. A kebab, eight pounds, eight euros I should say. I've been told no, I'm all right, mum. Um, we've still got food that needs eating. So we can leave the kebab, the pizza for another day I'll translate that later but this is um, the entrance to the city with the old walls so this is 1721 I believe let's walk through so this is the city gate oh the train's coming oh aren't we lucky City gates first. Just stand here. Ooh. I'm one train. Not sure which direction, but it's coming. Oh, there it is. Is this telling us what they used to do? Looks like they used to float down the river. Again, I'll have to translate that.
bales of hay over there. Looks like a weir. This is the way we drove. Hopefully the dash cam would have caught it. That is beautiful. Seeing these as we've been walking, there's another one there I believe, let's see. You know what this is about please put a comment below be really interested to know so we've just parked up by the trail uh, train tracks the railway and you can go in pick your own it's like an honesty box and um, thing you pick your own they provide the knives as well you pick your own and you put the money in the box this is as we're going down to the swiss border steely sunset nice and quiet so yeah i'm surprised i've got the knives there and then you can take what you want put the money in there and it's one stick depending on the flower that you get 40 90 cents or one euro so let's take you down i've always wanted to do these sort of um things especially for instagram i see people so i'm going to i'm going to do one i'm going to walk amongst them i'll get to the end first <laughs> What was that? Oh, something's just gone across into that hole. Something that's just too... Ugh. Really not good for people with hay fever, but hey-ho. Look at them. Beautiful. The more time I spend in Germany, the more I like it. We've just been to Freisberg. I didn't like it, so we've not stopped the night. We just carried on. It didn't feel right, and if it doesn't feel right, don't stop. Simple. So I've parked there. You can see Pat. So this is Hemmerlich Eich Station. Twenty-one seventeen. that's 9.17 in the evening got houses there got the station clock nice and quiet there's a camper van over there just trying to see if this feels right because we went to Freiburg and it didn't feel right at all it was horrible so just, as I say, doing a recce. If it feels right, I'll bring the car down. Some sort of school there, it's a quiet lane. Got a hotel. What's down here? Hmm, it's a bit sketchy, but you've got the hotel, so it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, it's crossing there. Oh. So there's a hotel. What are the parking restrictions? Because I think I'll come and park next to that camper. Maybe under this tree.
it would be discreet. So I think I'll do that. No toys look facilities. But it's nice and discreet, okay. I think that's where we'll park. I'll come down. Yeah. Did not like that other place. Felt horrible. My gut was just churning. And it's just instinct. I'm, it might be a lovely place. But my instincts just, yeah, didn't like it. So, we will go and do what I suggested. So, good morning. This is where we stayed in the car park of the um, train station. However, they do have a little... Just by the train station, they do have an area for up to eight campers with this um, restaurant. It looks like an old farm that's been converted at this hotel because that looks very similar to the houses that we saw yesterday. Um, and they've got a chapel. And there's a big cross as well um, at the front. So I think it's normal. For every place to have a chapel. Oh, lights automatically come on. Isn't that lovely? Interesting place, isn't it? A very peaceful sleep. Let me back a bit. So that's the chapel. You can hear the train in the background. They've got a little play area. That must be some sort of office, private. They're not going to let me use their bathroom, are they? I'm going to ask. Old storage. And as you can see here, like the old houses that we saw yesterday, upstairs is traditionally where they would store equipment. So that looks like the old barn doors. They're not in use anymore, but so they've kept the style, but blocked it off with boulders. And you can see that big cross there. So just over there, you can see in the distance there, that's where the eight spots for camper vans and you just pay. I think it's 10 euros plus tourist tax of like three euros. So that's not too bad, but you have to have your own facilities. No onboard facilities, apparently. Right, so this is the hotel parking. Again, that's the back of the hotel. Are they fortunate to have a railway station right next to them? I'm not too sure, but it's only 12 and a half kilometers cycling to Freiburg, which again, I did not like. So we slept in today. So the car's over there, as you can see, under the tree. Well, I say, it is a car, it is a van. It's a mixture of both, the little camper is there. Join us next time in Switzerland. Yeah, yeah, yeah.